Welcome to my YouTube channel again. Alright, well it's not the usual desk setting or whatever, but it's not so bad. It's definitely not the most glamorous spot I've ever hung out. Hey, welcome Jill Wolf. We got Will Davidson, Wendy Girl, Dave Lowe. P. Weirs, Guy Fox, Tracy X, HP, RC Brain Damage, wow. Soft Tail Style, number one, Joe C. Wow, there's a bunch of people in here. Great to see you guys. Sorry about all the noise. Um, yeah, like I said, it's definitely not the most glamorous spot. Mm. Wow, lots of, lots of cool folks. Well, if you can hear me, I, I guess I was going to... I haven't written any new songs yet, but I don't know. I'm just gonna noodle around on my guitar for a minute. Oh, we got conspiracy theorists. Hey, what's up? Very nice to see everybody. It's been a long, interesting month. Satan, where are you at? Oh, you're drinking water. You're being, good. You're being a good girl. Oh, let's see. Here's Satan. Oh, Satan. Hi, baby. Oh, wow. We already got 25 bucks from Dave Love. Okay, so I don't... Alright, thank you so much, Dave. You rock. Um, so I'm going to level with you guys right quick, quick. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously I'm rolling around in a $200 whip that I got in slabs. And it's been doing pretty good. But uh, last night it sprang a pretty serious... Um, uh, coolant leak. Satan, what are you looking for? Um, and here's, here's a little bit of a juicy bit. Um, so right before I headed out on the road, my bank card got, um, like cracked in half and, you know, smashed and unusable. And I was like, well, rather than having it fall apart, boy, Satan, load up, go in. Um, rather than having it load up, uh, or waiting for it to come to me, um, while I was on the road after it got destroyed, I decided to, uh, go ahead and have them send me out a replacement, and then, uh, I was gonna have folks mail it up to another spot, which I passed through, but the U.S. mail kind of fucked me over, because they, uh... They couldn't find the place where it was supposed to go, so it got sent back. So I've been rolling this entire time without my bank card and just like the few hundred dollars cash that I left home with. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, so if you want to do, uh, what I'm trying to say is if you want to do me a huge, big, fucking fat solid, um, go ahead and check the link in the description there. You can go to my PayPal and donate directly because I can withdraw cash from PayPal. I can't get to my savings, my meager savings, um, from my bank until I get my card. So, yeah. I haven't had to fly a sign yet, but I'm pretty much there. And um, tonight I'm gonna be crashing out at a truck stop because I have, um, I have some uh, steel putty, which I'm gonna use to try and seal up the hole in my uh, in in the coolant hose, but that requires me to stay put for an entire 12 freaking hours. So uh, that's a problem. So I'm gonna be spending probably after. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be spending the next 12 hours after this live stream, probably at a a truck stop, like a pilot or something. But you know, that's the thing. So if you wanted to help out, I could get a. I, I have like just enough money to either get gas or get a campsite and I'm not about to pay to park somewhere overnight. I'd rather just sleep in the car at a truck stop to be completely honest. Yep, so that's my situation. Okay, so can anybody guess where the hell I am? Anybody got any, any, uh, any sort of, um, 
guesstimates. Oh, thanks, Nomad Terry. Yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> fuck yes, thanks to you guys that donated. Um, but through the YouTube, I will not be able to touch that money until, like, next month. So, um, that's great, but it's just not as direct. Um, and thanks to everybody that has... Oh, I think somebody already did donate. Let's see, let's see the PayPal here. Who is it? I'm gonna shout you out. Oh, we got 10 bucks from Earthly Delights. Thank you very, very much. No, no, man, Terry, don't, don't apologize. You're the shit, dude. You're awesome. <laughs> and I, I'm fine. Like, le legit, um, the only problem is, okay, check this out. I'm borrowing a boat. And this boat, yeah, like I said, I'm borrowing it. It does not belong to me. And I need to get it back to, um, to its human, um... So that's the thing, and I, I actually, um, I went a little bit out of my way from where they are. Oh, thanks for the, the link there, Will Davidson. Alright, you guys fucking rock. I'm, I'm, uh, I've had a long day. I just ate for the first time today. Finally, I've been, I was trying to be on the water every single day that I had this boat and today I missed it because of the car troubles and that kind of blows. Um, and yeah, so I didn't get on the water today, but um, I forget where I was going with this. Oh yeah, the boat needs to get back to its person um, at some point too. But uh, as a hint of where I am, I am somewhere near water, obviously, that's a pretty good hint. And uh, if you'll take a careful look at this boat here, it's a specific type of boat. And I've been doing a little bit of exploration. Oh, and I've been working on a video. Um, I've been taking a ton of footage and pretty much all I have to do is find somewhere that I can post up for uh, like a couple of days in peace and quiet and like just start going through the footage, editing it together, making it into a video, like, I, I don't know how it's gonna pan out, but that's, I mean, that's how I pretty much always do it, and I'm really excited to share some of my cool adventures over the last month with you guys. Sapphire Tiger and Dave Lowe have both guessed Washington. I'm going to say, uh, yeah, yep, I might be in Washington, and I might be somewhere near some islands, and I may have taken a ferry, and yeah, been pretty good times, and I, I just absolutely can't wait to share it with you, um, so yeah, if you guys want to, Oh, it looks like we got another PayPal donation. Holy shit, you guys are... Holy shit, you're rocking my world. Okay, Christopher Ritter just PayPal'd me some fucking funds. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And holy shit, Amy Sorry also donated some money too. Holy fuck. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Wow. So we got a couple hundo kicks. Wow. You folks rock my world. That's that's great. Um, I could get a campsite for a couple days with that, and then drive back down, get the boat back. Um, so that's the thing. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to post up for 12 hours straight to get this <laughs> freaking situation sorted out. Oh wow, I just got a kick from Will Davidson and Christopher Swint. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You guys are... Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. I didn't... You know, you guys always blow my mind, really. Ah, N.E. Barton just sent $10 PayPal. Thank you so much. Holy fuck. 
I was gonna play some fetch with, fetch with Satan and just kind of touch base with you guys. And if you have any questions about what the hell I'm doing, now would be the time to ask. Thanks, Sapphire. Well, I, I love all you guys too. And yes, I'm back. I'm planning on doing some like off grid eats episodes, but hobo style, like cooking over a can of Sterno in a Walmart parking lot. Oh, thanks, Angie Gross. You rock. Honestly, like, I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am today if it wasn't for all the amazing amounts of support from folks on, uh, like, you guys are really the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, and the library is being taken care of. It's actually going really well down there. Um, like, I've been checking in often, it's going smoothly, and, um, new management will be down there soon. Um, but for now, the fort's held down. <laughs> uh, conspiracy theorists, you're making me blush. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so it's all good, and, um, there's a really great network of folks that do care about the library and me and um, what what I'm doing in conjunction with them and we're all working together to do some really cool stuff and yeah you guys you guys are a huge help um, you're a huge factor in the work that we're doing um, and the work that I'm doing here and my YouTube channel is definitely gonna be changing at least over the summer um, my I still have my address back in slabs and so that way I can, you know, have a place to go crash land when I need to. But I think I'm going to be on the road for, well, probably a little bit, probably a little while. I needed to ramble. And before you guys got to know me as the librarian, um, I was the traveling street punk with absolutely nothing and I'm perfectly comfortable going back to that. N.E. Barton, that is a very good guess. And actually, if you're basing it off of that picture that I posted the other day, you are correct. Uh, that was in Port Angeles, Washington. Today though, I'm in Bellingham and I'm in probably the least glamorous location one could be but it was the first spot I could find with some nice shade for me and the dog to, you know, park for a little bit while I did this live stream. I'm at Walmart. Yep, that's right, Hobo Hotel. But this particular Walmart has signs all over that say no overnight parking. So yeah, I'm gonna have to move this circus over to the truck stop six miles up the road. What's up, dude? <laughs> Got a guy with a backpack on a bike. Looks like a cool guy. Okay, let's see. Do I have... Uh, I think I heard another notification on my thing. Holy fuck. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got another kickdown from Terry Redfern. Thank you so much, dude. You're fucking baller. Don't put yourself out on my account, though. Um, Gamma Gulch Guest House. Holy shit. Sorry about that. If I uh, switch pages, um, it, it cuts out like that, my bad. I was trying to read the message that um, Gamma just left, but that's obviously not a good idea while I'm live streaming, so I'm not gonna do that. But thank you very much, Gamma. Colonel says that Walmart we stayed at in Kerrville, Texas, damn near had mass shooting the other day. Really? I didn't hear about that. Damn. Damn. Beautiful. Lori Walsh says, hey, you look great. Thank you. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of sun, working out. Um, I haven't gone on any, like, 
cool hikes or anything yet. I've gone on a couple walks, but nothing I would consider a hike. Um, but one thing I have been doing is getting up and getting out on the boat as often as possible. So now that I can, like, I can withdraw from PayPal right here at Walmart. So I can take the money that you guys have so generously donated to me and be able to get a campsite and tomorrow get the boat back out on oh wait i still gotta sit for 12 hours oh god that's gonna be a deal oh oh i hate that okay well maybe if i get super bored i'll do a hobo um off-grid eats tomorrow we can do a friday night hobo off-grid eats at a fire pit i'll make something cool and shoot the shit with you guys again or something at least in the next few days for sure for sure Right now, while I've been stuck in town, I've just been using my sterno cans, and I was able to find, um, weirdly enough, like the one time I find sterno, I'm in the bargain section of some podunk grocery store, and they've got a bunch of half-off sterno cans. So I bought like four of them, because I could afford them. <clears throat> so, yeah, just doing that. That's, it's fine, it's been working good made coffee with my sterno can this morning and shared it with a stranger who advised me on my car situation and you know he was real nice he was having his own car troubles too so that was extra nice of him um yeah so I'm gonna use this uh steel putty and let it cure overnight and into you know tomorrow evening and that fucking truck stop is going to be my home for a minute. Uh, oh wait, yeah, campsites are a possibility now. Holy shit. Hmm. Mm. And Money Suck will just kick down again. Holy fuck, guys, why are you so nice to me? Jesus. Alright, well I pledge to you to um, do my best to bring you quality, down-home, real-ass entertainment as much as I can. And... I'm really excited to share this next video with you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Will. I love you too, Dad. You're the best. And Dave. And all, all you folks. Oh, shit. You guys, like, I haven't genuinely smiled in a long time except when I'm, like, you know, doing, like, adventure stuff. And you guys are, like, making me smile for real. And that's, like, a really great feeling. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know, it's like, I don't even know, I don't even know how to sit with that. What I'm going to do, uh, don't tell anybody, but I'm going to drink, I got some can, champagne in a can. It was on sale in there, so of course I'm going to have to buy it. It was on sale, usually it's like five or six bucks for one of these, but it was two dollar. Apparently people don't like the campaign as much as I do. And in before you start scolding me for drinking in public, man. Like, people can go and get drunk at Applebee's. I think I can handle a freaking campaign in a Walmart parking lot. Cheers, fuckers. Thanks to everybody who donated and who has donated in the past, too. Um, I really didn't expect this to go this well. Holy shit. Um, yeah. You guys are the best. Wow. I missed you guys a lot. I knew, uh, I knew I was missing something in my life. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we got another kick down on the PayPal. Jesus Christ. You guys are rocking my fucking world here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Who is it? Bettina Martin Peace, thank you. Wow. And 
cut up my flesh on a rusty barbed wire. Blood on the sand. The whole town's on fire. But I'm not dead yet. Right now I'm fine. In fact, I might. Okay, so my plan here on out, here's my plan. You heard it here first. Nobody else knows what the hell I'm doing, including me most of the time. Ugh. My plan is as far as it goes. Um, step one, um, obviously finish the live stream, and holy shit, somebody else just kicked down. Thanks, McVee. Um, finish my campaign, finish my live stream, Oh yeah, I was gonna play fetch with my dope. Um, and then I'm gonna limp this fucker over to um, wherever I'm gonna choose to post up for the next 12 hours of my life. Um, and hopefully get that leak fixed up. And once I do that, then I'm gonna spend the next few days, um, cause the weather's beautiful right now and it's not gonna be this beautiful for long. I'm gonna spend the next few days of nice weather doing some more water adventures and maybe filming some more. Um, maybe do a couple hikes, try and get my stamina back up because I've been sitting still for a long time. And then I gotta get this boat back to Brando at some point and I need to get back down to Portland to pick up my card because that's where my card is, my bank card. Um, and my bank card's not gonna fix all my problems. I'm not, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> I'm, I, I have, at, in the interest of full transparency, I have $1,000 savings. Um, and that's pretty much like, at this point it's kind of my ace in the hole. And that's, that's I've been running this whole month off of pretty much nothing. And honestly, not using my card has been kind of probably a good thing because at this point if I did have my card I would actually be flat broke but since I've been forced to kind of scrape by off of um, you know residual PayPal donos a couple people donated um, just randomly during the month and that was really cool um, but yeah other than cash that I brought back from the bar that I've been running off of I've pretty much been running off of nothing which is fine I'm actually pretty used to that and it's it's good like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like starve or like die out here I'm pretty good at being homeless but it's just like it's a lot more to do and if you spend your entire day trying to figure out where you're gonna get a meal where you're gonna take a shit 
where you're gonna shower and wash your clothes and like where you're gonna sleep that night that takes up a lot of your day and um, that's one thing that I kind of want to oh thanks Rolf thank you so much um, that's kind of one thing that I want to focus on a little bit more on my channel in the future is just like um, like poverty awareness and um, you know just like meeting and interviewing people maybe and just getting getting real actual footage of people that are living on the street or living day to day and just introducing some people some people to you guys and you know humanizing poverty i know i know probably most of you aren't much better off than i am honestly like with the way things are going so i'm sure you can <laughs> i'm sure you can empathize Oh. Mm. oh, campaign. Man, Will Davidson rocking it with the links. Click them links, buddy. Also, do have t-shirts. There's a, You can order one just like mine in the links in the description below. If you're not into giving handouts, you could also buy a t-shirt instead. That's all well and good. Um, oh, thanks so much, Alfred. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, actually, okay, so uh, a couple of days ago, I I was I was stealth camping up in the woods um, near Port Townsend, which was really rad. I found a super cool spot just, like, up in the woods, um, and it, it was, like, not far of a... Oh, shit, I just spilled all my weed. No! Ah! Oh. Damn it. Okay. Anyway, god damn it. Um, it was a really cool spot, and then um, just down the road from, <laughs> yeah, I, I really spilled my weed. <laughs> um, just down the road from it was this campground that um, I read reviews about it on on this app that I've been using for finding boondocking areas, and <laughs> the. The reviews were pretty funny. They were like, um, tweakers ruined the spot, and uh, it's a shit show, it's a hellhole, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hmm, that, like, that sounds like a little slice of home. So I drove over there, and all the signs says, you know, campground closed. Uh, but there was a bunch of tents out there, and it, you know, it, was, it, it had been turned into a jungle. And if you don't know what a jungle is, that's a... Um, a jungle is a hobo campground, like a tent city kind of situation. So, of course, I recognize it as such. And I'm like, oh, well, obviously these people are kind of just squatting here because they have nowhere else to go. Um, and there were showers there, and they were pretty all right. So I didn't want to blow up the spot and try to camp there, too, because, you know, people were saying that they were already worried that people were going to move them out and roust them. And I don't, I mean, I can go and stealth camp in the woods, you know, not everybody can. Um, so, but I did use their showers and I was quite grateful for it. Um, and it wasn't a bad place. It, it really wasn't. There was this outreach that was um, handing out supplies and stuff and I talked to them and they were great. Port Townsend is quite beautiful too. Um, and I really did like... Um, kayaking out there and I definitely will do it again on my way through. Oh boy. Smoking the weeds. Haven't really been doing much dabs on the road because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be driving around with a dab rig in my car. Like it's already sketchy enough. Alright, let's check in. Let's see. Wow. Um, Icy Blue is asking if I fish. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a fishing pole. I should get one. Um, I did do a little bit of freshwater fishing, some river fishing um, earlier this, or last month um, when I was down in Oregon. That was pretty nice. Um, I didn't catch anything though. I only fished for like a couple hours, but I did get a few bites.
like the Greek ass. Have you been up in the Columbia River Gorge since the big fire? No, I haven't been up on the Columbia River, but um, yeah, I was definitely thinking about checking that out on my way through. Um, I'm kind of just floating um, from here. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, like honestly, I'm, I told you my whole plan, which is pretty much find a place for the next 12 hours to let the, the seal um, cure in my radiator hose, so, yeah, that's as far as my plan goes to the next, like, 12 hours after this stream. And after that, um, I'm going to be trying to get back on the water, like I said, um, until the weather turns, then I'm going to be trying to maybe head back to the peninsula, um, and now that I've got, uh, well, shit, like, total here in the interest of transparency uh i think you guys have donated between here on the live stream and the paypal um something like 400 bucks which is fucking phenomenal i've been running off of like a hundred bucks for the last like week or so um so holy shit yeah that's huge for me um yeah, Urban Adventures, I know. Um, it's not It's not a rubber hose, though. It's like it's not really a hose. It's like a metal hose. It's like a part that goes between the thermostat and something on the other side of the engine. I'm not a fucking mechanic, but yeah, it's not... It's not like a rubber hose. It's, it's metal. So I guess it's a pipe? I don't know. Um, yeah, if that doesn't hold, then I'm going to have to get that part thermostat housing is that what you'd call it okay yeah I think that's what it is and I think I might have to replace it too because my um well there's a few we're gonna see how this unfolds but my um my car temp has been like going up really fast and like when I'm at rest but then when I'm driving it's it's fine and that happened to me when my thermostat shit out in one of my vans so yeah Yeah, I'll definitely have to find somewhere where I can get a new thermostat housing for a Mitsubishi Mirage from 1996. Um, that'll be a thing, but hopefully the JB Weld will hold for a little bit. And my plan was, anyway, to just drive the car until I can't anymore. But, you know, if it's a preventable thing, I'll definitely work on it. Like, there have been a couple of other issues as well. There's a lot of issues. <laughs> I paid $200 for this car. Um, <laughs> there's... The wiring is pretty fucky. Um, oh yeah, one of my headlights is out too. I cannot drive after dark. My dash lights don't come on. My tail lights don't come on. One of my headlights doesn't work. Um, so there's there's definitely rules. <laughs> yeah, Muzumaki is 619. I paid $200 for this car. <laughs> yup. Swear to God, and it's brought me about 2,000 miles or so, so that's pretty that's pretty great. Um, and I, you know, knock on wood that it lasts another 2,000 miles or so, maybe even more. Maybe it'll make it all the way back to slabs. Yeah, that's my thought, Muzumaki. I was like, well, shut up and take my money, and no matter how far it gets me, it's definitely going to be worth it. And here I am in Bellingham. <laughs> Fucking A. Pretty sweet. Yeah, wow, you guys... Like, my mind is blown right now. Like, I have such a... Mm. <coughs> I mean... <coughs> wow. <coughs> uh oh, we got parking cop here. Oh boy. You guys are going to get to meet the Walmart parking lot cop. This will be fun. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Boy. Hey. <laughs> oh, they don't seem concerned. Oh, great. Great. Well, cool. I mean, I'm not trying to live here. I do have some of my gear out. Um, 
So it might look like I'm trying to post up, but you know, I'm about to fuck off eventually. <laughs> there they are. Wait, where are they? Are they on camera? Oh, yep. Oh, hey, Satan. You being a good girl? Aww. <laughs> no, you stay, dude. I don't want to keep track of you running all over. There's cars everywhere. <laughs> I did see a cool old van for sale, but like getting it registered and like legal and shit would be like ridiculous at this point. Even if I did have the money for it. I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep fixing this up until it can't be fixed anymore. 2,000 miles and counting. Let's see how far we can get it. Huh, Satan. Let's see where we can go. Shit, I'd be down to go fucking anywhere, honestly, as long as it keeps kicking. So, I guess we'll see. But, right now I'm really into this ocean kayak thing. Yeah, Dave Lowe, hopefully the wheels don't fall off while I'm driving through a mountain pass, though. That would be some shit. Smegger Smeghead says, as long as the dog eats and ha you have weed to smoke, who cares? Yep, that's right, buddy. That's about all we need. Dog food and pot. And occasionally a human treat. <laughs> yep, Satan says hi. Huh, Satan. You want to play fetch? Oh, I know you do. Alright, let's play some fetch. Um, Daraja Boops asks about the shirt. If you order it in black, the pick will be... No, you have to go to, um, new Slab City Library. That's the one that's black. And there's a bunch of other colors, too. Not the black on black. Yeah, Will, Will is uh, right to say in chat there, um, if you're looking to donate to my adventures and, and help out right now, I need, um, I don't have my bank card. It's, it was destroyed and I'm trying to get it back. It's, it's, it's somewhere in Portland right now and I'm not in Portland. I may have friends passing through there at some point. But uh, I'm right outside of Walmart where I can cash in PayPal. So if you want to get cash in my hand right now, which is very appreciated, um, hitting the PayPal link is the way to go. But whether you have ever donated or not, you know, like, I'm still, like, grateful for you to be here and, and share, share these times with me. <laughs> so... Yeah, with or without money, we can make shit work. It's just without, you got to be a little bit more creative sometimes. Driving out of the forest to here um, with the radiator leak and then my uh, radiator cap, uh, well, it came off because it wasn't screwed on all the way, because I listened to the advice of somebody who said, like, oh, just half turn it, and then there won't be a bunch of pressure pushing it out of that leak. And, of course, like, the cap blew off while I was driving because of the pressure. Whoops. Come on, Satan, right here. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, the last few miles getting into town here were um, pretty, pretty white knuckle. It was not fun.
Take a thing. Yeah. Is that the dog? <laughs> She's such a good pup. Um, Jason Smith, thanks for the five bucks. Um, I don't really have any art to sell right now. Sorry, man. All I got is what's in my car. <laughs> yeah, Sapphire, I like the little ball thrower. That way I don't have to get my hands all full of dog face gunk. It's pretty nice. And also you can throw farther so you can like, Satan like takes forever to get her energy out. So if I can throw it a little further, then she'll run a little further and then it takes less time. Because she's got a lot of energy. <laughs> Come on, pup. <laughs> mhm mm mhm mm Yeah, the the car situation will be addressed. I'm just going to try to seal up the hole first, and then I'm going to get myself to a, a pick and pull. There's a couple pick and pulls in the area, so I'll, I'll address that tomorrow. This evening, though, like I said, I got a plan, and it's a pretty easy one. Whoa, nice, dude. Did you guys see that? That was an awesome catch. Uh, Jason Smith is asking, may I commission a piece? Um, well, if you want to message me on Instagram or Facebook, I'm Cornelius Van Gogh on both. And anybody else that wants to add me, I have been posting pictures on Instagram so you can see kind of like inside stuff. Um, I post pretty much every day. So add me on there, message me if you have any questions. Uh, Jill Wolf says, bummer about the car. So good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Um, the car, you know, I didn't even expect it to make it as far as it has so far anyway. So it's like, I'll take what I get. And I already got my backpack all... I've already been living out of my pack this whole time. So whenever I do have to ditch the car, I'll just, you know take the pack out and keep moving um, and obviously I'll have to figure out how to ship all my extra gear back to my boss because I don't want to get rid of all my stuff all the stuff that's in the car is like my best stuff um, and yeah my bus is um, parked and safely stored for now so at least I've got the bus and what's inside of it as backup for if I really crash and burn, but I don't really foresee that. Especially if I can keep pumping out content. Come on, pup. Yeah. Let's see if we got any more kickdowns I should shout out. Oh, cool. We got Amy Nichols, Diane Bryan. Thanks so much, guys.
Yeah, I'm super stoked to be here. It's, uh, I don't know who is live streaming from Slab City right now, but I guess it's been hitting like 100, 510 degrees pretty consistently now, which is not surprising. That's pretty fucking normal. Come on, Satan. Hey, come here. All right, you're good. Drop it. Drop it. Yo. Drop it. Okay. Hey, drink water. No. Oh, you need water, huh? Okay. The Satan's needs water. Need water, dog? Can you show us the car setup? Actually, that's um, that's something that I do want to do. Um, I want to do like a walkthrough of like my gear and pull out all my gear. So my next live stream, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just do like uh, pull out all my gear, just lay it out and show you how it all packs up. Right now, it's in a different configuration because I have the boat, so I can't open up the the trunk and get get stuff as easily. But um, I have the there's a ratchet strap that goes here up over the back of the boat. I have it off so I can open up the back and uh, be able to pull stuff out if I needed to. So that's that's what I have to do, but I have it set up so that um, I can access the things that I need through um, the back seats pull down so I can pull those down and pull stuff out of there. So it's it's not how I would have it packed, but that's, that's how it is packed right now. So it's it's a bit of a clusterfuck. It's not so bad. I can show you what I got going on in there right now, though. Um, it's not... <laughs> it's not some better home and garden shit, but here. Okay, so... <clears throat> I got my front seat open, and then I got the Satan seat. And then here's... I've got my tech here. Um, it's kind of a fucking mess of tech. Right now, that's my camera shit. And it's supposed to be, like, kind of over here... Then I can charge my batteries and stuff there. That's my speaker so I can bump tunes because my car speakers don't work. It's kind of my power system right now. Um, and then right now I've been putting my backpack up there, but right now I'm sitting on my pack. And then I got the back open so I can get my shit. And then I, I usually try to keep this side open for Satan to also go to if she's like getting too much or not enough sun, then she can go on the other side. And then I also put her water dish and her food dish there so she can you know, be there. So I actually have a pretty good amount of space. And then I'll, it's a, it looks like a mess right now because I have extra water and shit. Um, this is where I've been keeping like water, got coffee. Oh no. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to drink that one. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. Okay. Got some cream soda. <laughs> got my coolant. And then I have on the other side, um, I got trash and my little cooler bag is over on the other side of that. So it's, it's actually pretty reasonably, pretty reasonably organized for how small it is. I mean, yeah, shit, I mean, it's, it's fine. And with a little bit of rearrangement, I can make it so that I can take on a passenger instead of Satan. But the car is pretty much at capacity right now. Um, it's, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not huge. And it's, it's like, I think that the car was actually lowered at some point before I got it because it's already, it already sits really low. And um, yeah, so I'm definitely down to do like a gear walkthrough. That sounds like a really fun live stream topic and you know educational sure this is what I got going on right now what I'm where I'm chilling I just threw my pack down so I could sit down on it and I got my drink and my guitar there there's my office pretty sweet 
Not too bad. <laughs> uh, Daroja just ordered it black on black. All right. Well, there is actually a little trick to that, that one. If you take um, some bleach and dilute it in a spray bottle with some water, you can spray it over, like turn this shirt inside out and put like a piece of cardboard in the middle so that it doesn't bleach the other side. And then just bleach it from the back. And then you'll be able to see the black outline when the bleach kind of pulls the black out of it. That's what I did to one of, one of mine and I thought it was actually really rad. So that's an option. It's a secret shirt hack. Uh, P.S. says, do you, uh, asks, do you sleep in the front seat? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. I camp. I pull my tent out. It's in my pack here. And I got a small one-person tent and uh, my sleeping gear all in my pack. So I'll just park the car overnight and then, like, wander out and find somewhere to pitch the tent. Which is why I've been sticking to, like, I mean... A lot of pull-offs have like little trails that come off of them and you can find a flat piece of ground to stealth camp and I've, yeah, I've been doing a lot of stealth camping like I did in Alaska for a lot of the way. Although in Alaska you don't really need to stealth camp very much because um, it's, it's Alaska, there's a bunch of bush. Hey Jimmy the Drunk, how's it going buddy? Uh, conspiracy theorist says having trouble with PayPal. Expect a hundred tomorrow. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Yeah, like, don't don't put yourself out for me. And yeah, and uh, guys, everybody trying to tell me what to order or buy for my car. Like, I I know I've already thought of this. Don't worry about it. And it's yeah. Um, I'll figure it out. Oh, thanks, Conspiracy Theories. That's fucking gear great. I am using the tripod you ordered me, too. It's been perfect. Um, the the tall, skinny one that gets pretty tall, you can use it as a selfie stick, too. Like, It's been a really good all-purpose tripod. Supernatural being. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jared asks, so do you just travel through the country and do you do whatever you feel or do you reside somewhere? Um, I've been living at Slab City for the last seven years. <coughs> and I've gotten out a couple times for some adventures. So now I'm out for an adventure and um, I'm going to be handing over the reigns at Slab City Library to another person and uh, it'll be operating a little differently. I mean, I'm still gonna try and get down there when I can and work on building projects still because there's a bunch of projects that I never got to finish. Then I can just keep building it for other people to enjoy and and utilize and you know it's just that I'm I'm done being posted up now I spent seven years on post and I'm ready to get out and water again and if if you've been watching me for a while you probably know that I'm not the only one that does this um, I'm part of a pretty sweet group of friends that are all over the country and we travel and you know not it's not just my friends like there's a lot of people that do it but I don't know maybe I'm biased and I think that my homies are the coolest but we're pretty cool and uh, we do a lot of interesting stuff and um, look forward to being introduced to more of these folks in the future too because there's a lot of my friends up in this area
Um, Jared, why don't you look at some of my older videos before you start asking questions like that, dude? Like, I've been making videos about Slab City for the last seven years. I'm pretty sure you can do a little bit of your own research, bud. Go to my page and look at some of my playlists. <laughs> Sapphire says your homies are the coolest for sure. Yeah, they fucking are. They really are. I got some of the coolest friends around doing neat stuff, whatever the fuck they may be doing. <laughs> Colonel says I got friends in low places. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I do like the grimy ones. The, the morally ambiguous, beautiful weirdos. And yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted um, from here on out. I'm going to try and uh, do a live stream once a week again, at least. And like I said, I do need to post up somewhere for a few days and work on going through my footage. But I'm going to wait until the weather turns, like I said. Because um, up in Washington, beautiful weather like this, it, it's not a guarantee. So I'm going to... I'm going to take advantage of it while I can. But once it starts raining again, I'm going to post up somewhere and work on putting together a video. Or maybe the footage will have to be divided into a few videos. But, um, you know, keep your eyes feel peeled for a few premieres. And if you have any friends in Washington, especially along the coast, and you, like, because I don't have my card, Satan, come here. Uh-uh, do not wander in a parking lot. Go, load up. The girl. Um, I, I can't register for couch surfing, uh, the couch surfing app, because you need to pay now, and obviously you can only pay with a card. So, um, I can't look up couch surfing hookups. So if you know people that are interested in punks and helping people out, do I want a shot? What do you got? You got whiskey. What kind? <laughs> this guy's offering me a shot of whiskey. All right, man. <laughs> I haven't um, I haven't drank liquor in a while. <laughs> Why not? I lost my freaking lighter. How you doing, buddy? I'm on a live stream right now. Just to let you know. Don't, don't show me. Yeah, you're not on camera, just me. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's my brand too, holy shit. Yeah. One of my brands. I'm good, I got a little cream soda here. Thanks, buddy. Thank you one more. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so last time I was on my live, I was um I had quit liquor. And um That's so good. it's funny, it's funny to take my first swills on my live stream from a perfect stranger in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> it's only about right. Thanks, buddy. I'm Cornelius. You hear me? Nice to meet you. Mm. Oh, conspiracy theorist is also drinking some Jim Beam. Fuck yeah. There's 215 people watching me right now. That's a little bit. It's not so bad, yeah. What are you doing around this way? Oh, um, I've been just kind of rambling. I've been taking the boat out on the water while the weather's nice. So um, I'm just trying to take advantage of the next few nice days, get back out on the water. But I was having some car troubles. I had a bad radiator, not a radiator leak, but a radiator, um, the, the thing what comes from the thermostat, the uh, hose, whatever. Somebody was talking about it on here, um, and I'm blanking out, but um, it got a bad leak. So I got to post up somewhere for the next 12 hours and let some JB Weld cure. You got some radiated I got some of that. I used some of that, and that's helping. Um, and then I'm gonna 
just try and seal it up and let it cure and hope that'll hold it for now until I can change it out. That's just fine copper dust that the radiator heats up and makes yep. it weld. Yep, yep. I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. Good shit. So you from California? No. I've been in California for um, the last seven years. Where are you from? Grew up in Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. You from here? Hell no. No? <laughs> yeah, I can hear the southern accent. No. Where you grew up? Arkansas. Okay, cool. Arkansas. You know why they call it Arkansas, right? Why is that? It's Arkansas. Y'all can get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Kansas. All right, cool, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Do you need a smoke or anything, or you want some weed? I don't smoke. Cool. Great. I dip. Uh huh. I'll smoke like a cigarette a day at most. Like this is obviously a refried. Yeah. Oh, there's my fucking lighter. But um, I try not to be addicted to nicotine because it's just too expensive. Yeah. It is. It takes a lot of money. Yeah, it does. I calculated one time the money that I spent on like nicotine and other things, alcohol, mm -hmm. certain things. I was like, I probably spent like half a million dollars in my life. Seriously, on, yeah. Since I quit them. liquor, I've, I, that, that was really sucking up my money, man. That, that was a thing too. Like just habits that you don't really need to have yeah. it's expensive as hell oh yeah it takes a lot mm -hmm. sure. well i'm gonna finish up this live stream but uh take it easy there, miss. hey yeah you uh you feel free to add me on facebook if you want not much on great <laughs> well if you see me around don't be a stranger nice guy Yes, thanks, Will, for reminding folks that I'm a they them. This is a this is a queer friendly space here. All right, we got it's in it's ex brandy. Thank you for saying hello and being here. Thank you all for being here. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, that was nice. Yeah, I I definitely. Definitely enjoyed that. Wow. First drop of whiskey. Well, no, I, I lied. I did uh, my first couple days out on the road. I did buy. Nope. I bought some rum. And that was that was a whole thing. I kind of kind of fell off the wagon a little bit there for a day or two. But, you know, it didn't hurt anybody. It's all good. Made good food. Camped out next to a beautiful river. You know, sometimes you're not always on top of your shit. And sometimes you are. And... That's just how it is. We're all good people trying our best here. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and if if you guys want to, um, I, I see a lot of people offering to hang out wherever they may be. Um, if you want to, uh, you can go to my Instagram and add me there. Cornelius Van Gogh, same thing uh, as my YouTube here. I think it's just no space, and you can message me on there, and I'll get back to you when I can. If you've got um, cool information, if you know people around where I'm at, or if you just want to offer a place to hang out, and, you know, I'm always down to meet people on the road. So if you happen to be where I am, then hell yeah, grab a coffee or a beer or whatever. Yeah, go to a strip club, shit. <laughs> I don't think strip clubs are a thing during the COVID, huh? Whatever. Conspiracy theorist says I think it went through. Let's check the PayPal notifications. Oh shit, yep. I got you. Thanks so much. Wow. Holy shit. I'm a hundred air, guys. Wow. Um, holy shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know I got a spot at your place, Colonel. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be back through there sometime. 
Ow, I just got ash in my eyeball. Ugh. Hugh Madbro says, I've been following you forever. I never thought you would check the messages though. How much is couch surfing? I got a bluebird card we can load up. And no, we strippers became what? I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, Terry's saying something about the thermostat gasket. Uh, Terry, I'll, I'll message you later about that, man. For sure. Like, I'm definitely down to talk mechanics, but I'm not. I'm not here to do that right now. I'm just trying to touch base with everybody. I think. Um, I think I can handle this. Pretty sure. I'll be all right. I've had worse shit happen. Um, at first, when I when I saw the the liquid coming out I thought it was oil and I kind of panicked and I was like oh no that's a you know because it looked like it was connected to the engine and I was like oh no I'm, I'm super screwed so that's so much worse to have an oil leak but um, yeah it was just it was just coolant so that's less severe still pretty bad and it'll be addressed and I know exactly the spot where it's coming out of too Ashley Irene says, rest in peace, Legion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Legion was a really cool kid. Yeah, I got a couple new followers on Instagram, too. Cool, yeah. That's actually a really good place to keep up on what I'm doing. Um, like I said earlier, I've been posting pictures often. And, I don't know. I think they're pretty good pictures. Good stuff. I've been exploring a lot of uh, bandos. It is abandoned uh, structures. And that's something that I'm definitely going to be doing more of. Brandy says, glad I caught you live. Used to watching all your old videos. You seem pretty awesome. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right. Thanks for joining us, Blind Sight. Dania Zone says, is that guy gone now? You be careful out there. <laughs> yeah, no worries, guys. Don't worry. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm all right. I have, I have definitely put myself in some pretty shady situations, like um, if you watched my Alaska series, there's like one scene where I'm playing guitar in a cabin with a dude <clears throat> after driving out, like, you know, way out to this, his little prospector hovel, and dude had guns everywhere, like he had like five on him, like AK by the door, and it's literally just like me and him on the side of this mountain in the middle of, um, you know, just like north of the arctic circle way out there and i mean i had my ruger on my hip and you know a person can only draw a gun so fast so i figured i'm on pretty even like uh, on pretty even ground with the guy like i'm not a sharpshooter by any means but i know how to hit what i'm pointing at and i know how to draw my gun pretty quick so that was probably like one of the more sketchy like i don't know yeah just me alone <laughs> in this little cabin with this like horny old prospector with a bunch of guns uh you know it was really fun though we just drank booze and played guitar and it was it was fine nothing bad happened so you know <laughs> yeah i mean you can't be in denial about the situations that you put yourself in but also just like uh you know make choices. I make questionable decisions all the time and I'm okay. <clears throat> you just gotta be tough, I guess. You're gonna be dumb. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, man. Yep. Yep. I gotta start thinking about, um, yeah, that truck stop. I, I guess it's like a pilot truck stop, so 
that's probably where I'm gonna go that or I'm gonna go to um, one of the campgrounds around here now that I got a couple of bucks from you guys I'm probably oh I could do KOA that's like kind of a happy middle ground you know I got showers and amenities and such Yep, conspiracy theorist. I got I got it on my end. Thanks so much. Again. Thanks to you again, Nomad Terry and and Will and all you fucking fine folks out there who kicked down today. Holy fuck. I got a two hundo kick from from a person and a couple hundo kicks like Oops. Dang it. Ah. Like yeah, and I I just don't even have words, you guys. Um, oh yeah, check out the links in the description. There is um, we have a Discord, obviously. Um, join the Discord, and you can keep up with the friends in there, and we all chat and show pictures of our lives, and it's actually really great. There's a lot of really awesome people there that just you know they're just great, good wholesome people. Thanks, Sapphire. I appreciate that. <laughs> Will is, is being so good uh, about reminding me to tell you to hit the like and subscribe. Um, and if you want to be notified when I go live, which is irregular, but it, you know, it's going to be happening more often now that I've taken, finished up my month break, um, make sure you hit the bell, um, the bell icon so you can be notified when I do go online. And you'll be introduced to some fresh new places. Like, Slab City is very exciting. And if you're just tuning in for the first time... Woo! Alright. If you're just tuning in for the first time and you don't really know what Slab City is, go ahead and check out my page and check out some of my videos from the last few years. And I talk about what it's like to live in Slab City a lot and have a lot of footage from there. It's... A uh, very fascinating and wild place, and I do intend to go back. It's just that at this point in my life right now, I'm not planning more than a few days ahead, and I really like doing that right now. That's just how it's going to be. So I don't have any answer where I'm going next or what I'm doing or why. Like, nobody knows, me included. Um, but, you know, my address is still the same at the library, 555 Rosalie Drive, and... I, I do intend on going back and just checking in and making sure everything's running smoothly because I'm not about to abandon what I've spent the last seven years of my life creating and, and reviving. Yep, it's gonna be exciting, and you guys are all gonna be here having front row seats to to seeing how the heck this all turns out. Cause yeah, it's, it's just a roll of the dice. Chaos, just farts in the wind. And that's where I'm at right now. Just farting in the wind. Ah, uh, and. I'm gonna smoke some more pot. Smoke them if you got them. There's nothing like sitting on a backpack on the pavement of a Walmart parking lot with your back to an old whip to clear your head. It's really, really grounding. <laughs> yes. I'm a bit sad that I didn't get out on the water today, but there's always tomorrow. I don't think there's a name for this boat. It's a shame. 
It's not my boat to name, though. And I gotta get it back safe. I'm not about to be some type of person that borrows things and doesn't give it back. Yes, Colonel, I did find my lighter. <laughs> Oh boy. Satan, you being a good girl. Oh my goodness. Are you being so good? Oh my goodness. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're so cute. Uh, uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And short says you look so content. Oh yeah, like I always feel pretty centered and at peace when I'm on the road. Like I was starting to say earlier, like you guys mostly know me, people that have been following my channel mostly know me as like somebody that lives in Slab City and does library thing. And then I've got a couple of series where I do hitchhiking and such. But like before I ended up in Slab City, um, that's this is what I was doing, and I got pretty good at it, and, um, actually, it, it's great, because I've been having a lot, lot more time to devote to myself, and focusing on my own work, and taking care of me, so that's pretty much what I've been doing this whole time, is just, like, trying to, um, just, like, get active and healthy again, and do a bunch of cool stuff, so that I can do even cooler stuff in the future. Uh, on the fly student says, let me know if you got my PayPal. I'm looking right now. Let's see. Um, I'm sure I did. I don't want to, like, hit the thing because it's going to take me off of this page or the screen. Oh, Captain Napton says you could give the boat a temporary nickname while you're borrowing it. That's not a bad idea. Oh, what should the nickname be? Um, oh, that's a good one. If you guys think of any cool nicknames for an ocean kayak that's being like used by Cornelius, so you know, Dave says SS punks. I don't know, I got, like, I kind of like, I don't know, like the car's name is King Ratchet. This is King Ratchet. That's like, fitting because it's ratchet as fuck. SS reprobate. <laughs> that sounds too official though. If it's gonna be a nickname, it's gotta be like a nickname. The Yacker. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Huh. Oh, like... Uh, yeah, I'll think on that one. <laughs> King Ratchet. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Do the wonder. <laughs> Got another interesting character eyeballing me. <coughs> oh boy. She might come say hi. I love being visibly crusty in public because people are curious and they want to come say hi. Oh, I could call it banana boat because it looks like a nanner. Oh, I'll call it nanners. Yeah, that's a good one. Nanners. <laughs> Corn and nanners. Out on the sea. Satan, don't knock over my tripod, please. Yep, Nanners it is. That's a good nickname. Hmm. Nanner float. Yeah, Nanners float. I like that. Okay, yep, that's good. Yep, that's it. Oh, man.
<laughs> oh boy. All right, let's see. Well, shit. What time is it? What do we got here? 6.25. Sun doesn't go down. Doesn't start getting dark till like 9. Should probably start thinking about fucking off, though. <clears throat> Come on, Satan. You still got shit to do. Nine twenty-five here. You must be on the East Coast then. <clears throat> That's why I don't like to do shows like you know. If I'm gonna do an afternoon show, it's gonna be or like an evening show, it's gonna be like six, five or six at the latest. <clears throat> mhm. Mm All right. Well. Um, I'm gonna do a final toast with you guys and then start putting my stuff away and heading to the spot for the night. Um, I'm still, like, definitely, uh, <clears throat> beside myself about how, how many of you who have shown, uh, generosity throughout the stream, like, my, I'm actually kind of mind blown. Um, so thank you very much and know that I'm gonna put what you've donated to good use to the best of my capabilities and continue to do cool shit. So let's let's fucking do it. I'm gonna I have a uh, coffee cup full of bag wine here, so uh, cheers you fucking beautiful bastards. Yep. That tastes exactly how you imagine it does. Yep. Alright. Well, fuck. And one more hit. I got like one more to clear out here. And I, I hope that you all are having a really great day. You're doing your best and trying your damnedest. Um, just keep doing that. Rock on. Drink water, get good sleep, uh, eat well, be active, and take care of yourself. Do the thing, and I'll see you soon. And I'm excited to show you some of my footage from this last month. Okay? Thanks, guys. Rock the fuck on. I'm fucking off.